Hey guys, Chris here with Call to Wander. Today is a beautiful day, 70 degrees and sunny. We're gonna get up on the roof and I'm gonna answer a question that has been asked a lot. You may be following us or you may have come across our video where we put Henry Tropical uh, silicone sealant up on our roof. It was very controversial. Uh, we used a turnabond. We had a lot of great comments, a lot of questions, a lot of criticisms. And so it's been over two years and I'm gonna take you up on the roof and show you exactly what's going on. Um, I can tell you 100% right off the bat, we don't regret doing what we did or how we did it. Um, but I'll show you some of the results two years later with that. When we get up on the roof, I'm also going to be going over some general maintenance things that we want to take a look at uh, just to make sure that the roof is in good shape. Full disclosure, we've been here, we've been parked, we've been work camping for the last five months. And so I have not been on the roof one time, which means when I get up there, what you see is what you see. Uh, we are camped underneath Ponderosa Pines, so I can anticipate that our solar panels are going to have some um, pine sap on them. I can also tell you that we've had all kinds of hailstorms. Um, the Black Hills of South Dakota are known for the hail their hailstorms. We've had all kinds of hailstorms, and so there might be some nicks that I wasn't expecting, but um, in the past when we've gone through this, we were here last year, um, had no issues with the roof whatsoever. So that is the spoiler alert, or actually that's after the spoiler alert. Um, you already know the roof is going to look in good shape. I will tell you as well that there are some spots that I know Henry's is not adhering perfectly to the Turnabon tape, and that's where the criticisms have come in. So we'll hop up there on the roof in just a minute and take a look at what's going on. Before we do that, I'll kind of talk through the process. It's relatively simple. We've got tons of pine needles up there, so I actually borrowed a blower. If you don't have a blower, you're going to have to use a broom or a hand broom or, you know, whatever else you have. Um, but I'm going to use a, a leaf blower to do the initial cleaning of the roof. Once that's done, I'm going to go back through with a broom and just lightly brush everything up just to get an idea of what we're looking at. At that point, I'm going to do a visual inspection just to make sure that there are no obvious or glaring places. I'm not going to get down too close, um, but we're going to wash the roof before we patch it up. That may not make sense except I'm telling you the only places that there's any place that needs a patch is over the Eternabon and the Eternabon is watertight. So I'm not worried about rinsing down the roof before I go back and dry it out and spray that on. Um, but I am going to do just a quick visual inspection and then we'll break out the hose and we'll rinse everything down. And as we're rinsing everything down, that's where you will see a very important safety tip, which is don't try to stand up on your roof when you've got Henry Tropical on the roof. It is silicone. When silicone gets wet, it gets slippery and you don't want to fall off your roof. You don't want to fall on your roof. You don't want to fall, period. So I'll show you a little trick that I use. It's not really a trick. I just fold up a couple towels and I get on my hands and knees and I go at just very gently cleaning. The cleaning process will take a little while, but it's very easy. Um, that's another question that gets asked all the time is how easy is it to clean or or how difficult is it to clean the roof once you put Henry silicone on there? It is super simple, super easy. You can use just water and a towel or a little Dawn detergent. I'm gonna use a little combination of both and the, the dirt and everything just wipes right off. The solar panels will be a little bit different. I'm going to apply WD-40, which on their website, WD-40 says one of the many 400 plus applications of WD-40 is specifically for pine sap. So I know that there are other ways that you can get pine sap off. I'm not gonna spend time scraping with the straight edge or use other chemicals. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of WD-40 on there and hopefully everything will kind of dissolve. I'll wipe it up with a paper towel. Then we'll go back with the paper towel and some Windex and we'll go ahead and clean off the solar panels even though they're gonna get dirty again in no time at all. But that's just general roof maintenance and general solar panel maintenance is to keep them clean. Uh, we haven't been using solar because we've been camped on a full hookup here in the shade underneath the beautiful ponderosa pines. However, uh, once we hit the road in a couple days, we need our solar to be working top notch. And so what that means is that we got to make sure it's all clear, all clean, um, and no spots on it. Once I've cleaned everything, once we've rinsed it down, I'm going to go back over to those spots that could use a little patch up and I'm going to apply the Henry Tropical Spray. And that is for touch ups. It's kind of for emergencies. Instead of buying a whole gallon or in the, in the case of a new installation or a new uh, paint job, instead of doing a five gallon bucket, we're going to use the spray and just spray it in the areas where it's needed um, and not do overkill. This stuff has held up incredibly well. We applied it in June of 2021 as we finished up our remodel of our, our motorhome and it's held up. It's now October, November-ish of 2023. So over two years of holding up really well. I think you're going to be as impressed as we are and you're going to see that this investment has continued to pay off for us because it was a small upfront cost. It was a labor done ourselves 
yes, there are other ways that we could have sealed our roof. We could have put a new membrane on. We could have gone to somebody and paid $5,000. That's not what we wanted to do. That's not why you're watching. If you are a roof professional, you're welcome to go ahead and leave right now because this is for those people who want to DIY. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you, how we DIY this entire project and how well it's holding up over two years later. On that note, let's go ahead and get up on the roof. So I'm up here on the roof and it is as I expected. There are tons of pine needles all over the place. Solar panels are covered in pine needles, uh, the entire roof. So we're gonna get the blower out. First thing I'm gonna do is blow everything down and that'll give us a better way of looking at uh, any damage that's done to the roof and to the Henry's Tropical in particular. I don't think there's gonna be any issues, but let's go ahead and do that. So now we got finished blowing off all the pine needles. There were a couple times where I stopped and I could visually see the places where the Henry's Tropical was peeling off the Eternabon. So we're gonna go back and address those. But I am really, really surprised how clean in general the camper is, the roof. When we first applied the Henry's Tropical, it was bright white, like blindy white, because that's how, how white it was. Now looking at it, it's not that much different. There are some dirty spots, which you'll see, and we'll get them off now. We'll go ahead and apply a little bit of water, maybe a little bit of Dawn, um, but probably just water, and just scrub them with, uh, you know, what you wash your car with, or just a little rag, anything like that, just a little bit wet, and that will move all the dirt away. Again, you don't want to be standing up for this part, so, or at least not where the wet part is, so if you can keep the water in front of you as you work your way across the roof, that's a smart thing to do, but definitely know that once that starts to get wet, it's gonna get slippery, it's gonna get dangerous, so that's where I will drop down on my knees on a towel and I'll just start hand scrubbing everything. So the point of cleaning is obviously to make it look pretty, but who cares what the top of a roof looks like? It's more about how well is it performing. And so by cleaning it, we're literally going inch by inch over the entire roof. Obviously not what's underneath the solar panels, but we're not worried about that part that we painted. We're worried about all the other parts. So this gives us a chance to see inch by inch what may be going on with the roof and where we may need to focus on patching it up if we need to patch it up at all. So we are finished cleaning and that was great. Now it's nice and pretty when Lindsay flies a drone over and shows all that great footage. Here is a spot right here and then over here. These are the kind of spots that we were looking for because it is peeling off. That's the Eternabon tape there. Not worried about leaking into the roof itself, but uh, we're gonna let this dry and then come back over and we're gonna spray the Henry spray on Look there. Look at the camera, yeah. Um, but what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to go dry these solar panels off and we're going to do WD-40 because there's some big chunky uh, sap spots and while we're doing that we'll let the rest of the roof kind of dry. We'll come back over and we'll touch up with the Henry's uh, spray.
So I came down off the roof after we cleaned the solar panels. They look fantastic. All the, uh, the pine sap is gone, just a little bit here or there, but it looks fantastic. They're the cleanest they've ever been. These are Renogy solar panels, by the way. We love the Renogy solar panels. And uh, you can check the link in the description below for a discount if you were to get Renogy. We're not fans of all their products, but when it comes to solar panels, Renogy is top notch and uh, we definitely recommend them there. These have been on our roof for two and a half years. They perform wonderfully. We've got 960 total watts of power up there, as you may have seen. Um, and so a lot of cleaning, a lot of cleaning done. What we decided is tomorrow we will uh, we'll go back up on the roof, gonna let the roof dry completely on its own instead of trying to dab dry it. And that way we can go up with the Henry spray and spray the, the few spots that need it. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and cut out, cut out for the day and uh, we'll get back to it later. So wrapping up the roof maintenance, everything looks great up there. I'm really, really impressed with how good it looks. Um, you saw how easy it is to clean with just water or a little bit of Dawn detergent and a hose. Everything comes right off, all the dirt and everything comes right off the Henry's Tropical. Um, the Henry's Tropical, as you saw, there were a couple places, just a couple, where the Eternabond was, um, was underneath it and it was peeling off the Eternabond tape. Um, but for the most part, everything that everybody's been saying, don't do this, don't do this, it's worked out fine for us so far. Um, again, you might have to reapply in a couple places with a spray can, or if you had a bunch, you might want to get a gallon. But at around $90 a gallon, the spray can was perfect for us. Um, that was about $30. Um, and again, links to everything that we've done in here will be in the description below. So if you are thinking about putting Henry's Tropical on your roof instead of getting a new roof job, it is a 100% DIY, you can do that fantastically. Whether or not you wanna use the Eternabond is going to be up to you and your level of comfort. Um, again, the places where it was peeling off for us was just where I know I hit some branches or some shrubs in Baja, and it just sort of started a little bit of peeling, went up there, stopped it. Once we did this maintenance, we stopped it by putting the little spray silicone back on there. So it is something that you can do it is something, this is two and a half years later, everything is working the way that it's supposed to. So for all the people who were negative against us because we wanted to do a budget option, um, sorry, it's working. And for those of you looking for a budget option, it is a great, great alternative to totally replacing your roof. Of course, if you already have water damage on your roof, it's a different story. You may have to take the old roof off and repair it. Um, but for us, we prevented the water damage there were no signs of it, but there were signs that it was possible. And so we never wanted to have any water damage to our roof whatsoever or down the side panels of the, of the camper. So everything works perfect. And uh, we're really happy two and a half years in. I think we'll be going another two and a half years before we have any worries in the future. Um, but 
We'll see about that. One thing to note using the Henry spray can is that it puts on a very light application because I ended up putting several coats of the original Henry's. That was one thing that made it a very thick coat initially. So this is a very light coat and it is hard to control or contain. Um, so it goes on splotchy, just like you'd expect from a spray can of spray paint. Um, but you can control it and I just, I did overkill and spraying in an area because I just wanted that new seal over where the edges were starting to peel up. And, uh, and I think it's done a great job. But you just want to note that for $30, it's still a more affordable option if you're just doing little patches as opposed to $90 for a gallon. But what we may do in about six months when we get back on the roof and look for other repairs is we might then invest in the actual gallon of, of the silicone paint and go ahead and paint entire sections. It won't get the whole roof, but we'll definitely be able to do a nice thick patch over any of these areas where we've sprayed them. But again, everything looks fantastic and we're not complaining at all. We are 100% happy with how things are holding up. If this video helped you, please go ahead and like it, share it with anybody who's interested in this kind of information. Of course, subscribe to our channel to see how we live out of this motorhome full time uh, as we travel through Baja and all of North America. Uh, we'll be doing tips and tricks as we approach things that we have issues with, um, such as fixing a shower, um, we'll show you how we do everything, how we live our lives on the road full-time in this motorhome. Thanks for being a part of our wander. Again, we'll see you soon.